the Black Ghost Redemption is, um, it, all intents and purposes, Red Reddington on the blacklist had the blacklist of all the top criminals that need to be brought down. And in one form or another, uh, some of the characters on Redemption have been on that blacklist. And this is a show where they get to redeem themselves. They get to find their redemption. Uh, and I play so Solomon, Mr. Solomon, who was on Red's blacklist, and he committed atrocities uh, in, in previous lives and even on the blacklist. And this is a show uh, that brings him, Tom Keen, and Tom Keen's mother, played by Funka Jensen, Scotty Hargrave, uh, and she's heading this organization, the secret government organization, actually not even part of the government, they're their own entity, but they're hired by the government, um, called Halcyon. Uh, and we take on the cases that the government doesn't know how to solve. They're, they're scared to take on because they might be a little evil sometimes, who knows? And we go out there and we, uh, we try to solve problems. I don't know, we might even start, start problems. Who, who knows? Um, but the show is different than The Blacklist in the sense that um, it's, it's got a different energy to it. The Blacklist uh, might be a little dark and this show is probably gonna be a little lighter. Uh, it, like Mission Impossible, fun, capers, banter, a different pace possibly, who knows what's, what's gonna end up on the screen. Um, but it feels fun and I think the audience might find it fun to watch as well. My character, for those that are familiar with Mr. Solomon, he's a bad guy. And he might be one of the baddest guys that you never want to meet this dude. He has no moral compass. You know, he, he's a mercenary who's very ruthless. Um, he's a hitman. He's a torture expert. Uh, he's a, a, a spy. He's a tactician. He knows how to put teams together and, and go into war zones. He's probably started wars, created wars. He's probably ended wars. He, he, he goes from good to bad, to bad to good, and you don't really know where he stands, so he's very dangerous. Um, <laughs> people who watch The Blacklist, I kidnapped a baby in the first episode. You know, he's just, he's insane. Um, but he's fun, so I think, I think some of the audience uh, enjoyed how, how fun he was to watch. Um, so in this show, it's gonna be more of the same, of Mr. Solomon's essence is, is there, but the show's called Redemption. So over time, I think that they're gonna find Mr. Solomon to be more likable um, and have more of a heart, possibly, who knows? Um, but my goal is that the audience never ever feels comfortable with him. They don't know if he's just kind of BSing his way through, through things to get, to get what he wants. Solomon understands that money runs the world, money rules the world, so he's willing to go to the highest bidder. Uh, so you, you never quite know with Mr. Solomon. Mr. Solomon is the kind of guy who, he, he's, his, life has been, uh, his life has been on the line many times before. He's been saved by people, he's saved people. So he's working for Scotty because she's willing to pay the most. So he'll let her, he'll let her know that he's there for her, but you don't ever know if that's true. You don't know if he's gonna flip, flip it on her at any point in time, because he's a mercenary. He just chases the money. So he doesn't have any loyalty to anyone, which is gonna be interesting to watch. This is the bad guys on the bad guy list that come together to do good things for the government. The relationship between Tom Keen and, and Mr. Solomon, um, it's funny. Uh, you know, he tried to kill me. Tom tried to kill me, shot me in the stomach. Um, <clears throat> uh, but Mr. Solomon, he deserved it. You know, he, he tried to kidnap his wife. He shot up their wedding. You know, he's trying to kill him. You know, because that was his job. Mr. Solomon didn't care, right? So uh, I think Mr. Solomon, he, he understands. He understands, of course you're gonna try to kill me. I try to do all this bad stuff. So we're good. Let's work together. But you'll never be able to trust me. <laughs> because you tried to kill me and I'm cool with it. Which I think is terrifying. 
you know. So their relationship, I think, moving forward on the show is going to be like the odd couple. They're going to be ban there's going to be banter, Mission Impossible style. So these missions that we go on, they're highly dangerous and they're very exciting and complicated, but they're having fun doing it. And I think the audience is going to have fun watching them go through this together. The, the redemption, uh, it's spy. So, you know, we're jumping out of helicopters and, you know, rappelling down cliff sides and, you know, it's, it's Mission Impossible. So it's, it's big budget for television, which I hope we pull off, and I, and I think we will. Uh, so I think the audience is in store for um, having a, a Hollywood blockbuster experience on the small screen.